New and updated mods are out now for Farm Sim 22. A total 24 mods were released today on the in-game mod up. All platforms got 14 new, it's six updates, and PC Mac players got three new and one update. Of course, as always, we'll take a look at each mod, including customization of features, as well as the new map. That way you can better decide which mods you want to download and which ones you don't. Starting off with some new mods for all platforms. First was the John Deere Series 8030T and Dimco signed quest 1,200 tanks. Very, very cool here. Pretty sweet little setup too, let's check it out. First off, we have engines. We have a 265 horsepower engine. We could chip that up to a 335. We also have a 310, 380, 335, 445, and back down. Those chip tunes are actually a little bit more powerful than the next model up, which is why it kind of bounces around like that. Track setups, we have the wide mat. We also have wide mat with the front weight thrown on there. Then we can do a three meter setup with that little weight. And then we have a narrow set with the weight, narrow set with the three meter, and then back to wide again. So we have all of the ones you can want there. Window setups, we do have the, uh, the smokiness on there. Front headlights, we have four headlights, then five, six, seven, and back in. Interior trims, we have no seat, we have radio, We've also got thermal, and then seat and radio, seat and thermal, radio and thermal, all three, and then nada. Antennas, we've got one on the left, one on the right, both of them, or nada. Exhaust, we have a chrome tip or standard numbers. We've got one through number nine on the side. We've got number three for Dale. Toolbox and chain. Don't get excited about the chain. It, well, it's just there, but we do have it if you want it. Cabin lighting, we've got without the cabin headlights. We've also got without the turn signals, but with those lights, double headlights, and then standard signaling, we've got left beacon, right beacon, left and right, back to standard again. Attachments, we have a 300, 500, 700, 900, 1100, and 1300 uh, front weights. We can also add some extras in there for 13, 15, and then front hydraulic with those extra weights as well. Very cool. GPS, we have the Starfire 3000 and G4 with the 6000 or nothing. Signal lights, we've got signals uh, for like US. We can also add the turn signal or the uh, not turn signal, the tractor uh, triangle. Then we can do reflectors or EU and then not. I think they got those backwards. I'm not sure. And then we have our license plate. Now, we've also got some other cool stuff. So let's get ourselves one of those real fast. Then we have the Dimco tank. So we have the 1,892 liters per side. I say per side because we've got, well, left side and a right side. We also have the 1200s of left side and right side. And I know what you're thinking. Can I put one on them one and one on the other? <laughs> We're about to find out, aren't we? All right, so right side is first, and then we've got left side is second. And it looks like right side goes on first. I don't know. There we go. Oh, connect that up. There we go. There's that. So we've got a 1200 on the left. Can we do this? Oh, oh, it's not working. Come on, you know you wanna work. Hey, we got it. Also, I forgot I was supposed to be doing face cam for this portion of the video. I forgot, face cam's brand new to me. So can you put a thousand on one side and a 12 heart under on the other? Yes, you can. You can even just drop one of them and use a single tank if you want. <laughs> It's insane. Next, we've got the New Holland TC, or T5 AC and DC. Now, the only difference between these is going to be your transmission. So nothing else is different. Everything's exactly the same. You just have a dynamic command tr transmission or an auto command transmission. We're just gonna stick with the auto command today. Engine options, we have 110, 120, 130, 140, and 155 horsepower. We can also throw an extra different little chip tune on there, which is kind of neat. Wheel options, bring us Trelibar, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Bredestein, and Nucky and Tires. So a couple different setups through there. Fenders, we have with fenders or without. Addition, you can do a new 2022 edition. We have the blue power, regular power, and then standard again. Uh, Ice bus CC uh, 1200 terminal. Yeah, you can do that if you want to. It's gonna be around towards the inside. Uh, we've got a couple different setups here. Limkin, Zunammer, K brand, Crone, Amazon, or nada. Let's go Amazon, heck yeah, man. Beacon light and front flasher. So we have without the beacon light, we have the front flasher added, beacon light number one. Then we can do the front flasher through there. Little setups here and there, add it up. Bam, bam, all of them above, and so on and so forth. So a lot of different stuff through there. I do like this little front flashers though. They look really good. Hydraulic control, we've got hydraulic uh, control or electrical control. That's gonna be, I believe, around on the inside. Yeah, there we go. We also have snow chains, so you can add those if you want to. So we have uh, none. Snow chains always at front. 
Snow chains only in winter at front, and then always on back, only in winter on back, and then all of the above. We've never seen anything like this before. This is very, very cool. All right, come on. All snow chains, but only in the winter? So whenever it's winter time, it just adds them? Why is that not a thing on every tractor? That's awesome. Front hydraulics with a weight carrier. We have a hitch. You could also do a hitch with PTO shaft, which is super interesting. And then front hydraulic with that PTO as well. Let's go hitch PTO shaft. I've never seen anything like that, but I'm sure it exists somewhere. Front loader options. We've got the Quickie. We've got the Hauer top block system. Stoll, MP lift, MX, and Nada. That is basically all of them. We also have all of the tractor colors here. We have a New Holland pink chrome. I didn't know this was a thing, but I'm going for it. Uh, chrome wheel or chrome uh, front as well. There's another chrome, rim colors. Really? So rim colors is, is where we draw the line with chrome. Fine, I'm making them red. <laughs> and we got a license plate. Again, I'm fully aware that YouTubers make terrible looking tractors. Uh, I tried and that's about as good as I can do. Uh, also, one thing I want to note, I'm able to spin around this thing much, much faster than used to so that's pretty darn cool uh but it doesn't look like we can do anything uh i have switched to passenger seat but i think that's because i have another mod installed <laughs> you're just sitting there oh and just heads up as well uh if it wasn't clear auto commands and auto transmission and dynamic man is basically a power shift next is our lizard flat deck trailer rto 1274 very cool wood floor on here we've also got the wood and metal floor wood and metal floor wood floor wood and black metal floor back and forth between all of those. And then we have different attachers. So attacher number one is going to be a ball hitch. Then we have a pin hitch back and forth between those and then chassis colors. So you could change that up. There is no changing the uh, wheels. So don't expect to do that. Next is the gooseneck dolly. This is super cool. It's from dark side modding. What up, dude? And uh, it's a dolly, but it's a gooseneck dolly. And it's got a lot of customization options. So we've got one with tracks, one with wheels. Uh, real quick, we'll customize one with wheels and we'll take a look at the tracks. So wheel options, we have Continental, Phoenix, Trilex, Vintage. Uh, we also have uh, Vertistan, Nokian, and then back in. A lot of those may have sounded familiar because they're from 82 Studio. Darkseid, I think, was one of his... Uh, um, uh, one of his uh, modern buddies. Anyways, in every one of his streams. Uh, we also have mud guards. We've got wheel covers, a couple different setups for those, which is nice, uh, including some mud flaps, which is, again, also very nice. I like six. We'll go there. Uh, beacons, we have amber on there. We also have both on clear. And then beacons is just yes. <laughs> you get a strobe bar. That's pretty cool. Uh, working lights, we've got a left one, right one, both or not an attachment type. Uh, we've got the standard, which is like a pickup truck and then Zarian. So you can do the uh, 5000 if you want to. That's going to be super handy. Plus we have the saddle track, which is nice. If you guys have the saddle track, which is a pre-order for the Farm Sub 22, but I think like most PlayStation players couldn't get it which stinks, <laughs> yeah, go imagine. Right, and then we have all of the different colors. So main color here is your color plat. Uh, do we have a uh, nitro blue aged? Ha <laughs> yes we do. Mud guards, we've got those on there too. Rim color, we've got that and your license plate. Now let's jump over and take a look at the tracks real quick. And you may notice there's no changing them because tracks are just there. But we do have some different setups for mud guards if you want, and everything else is exactly the same. From Ross in Mods, we've got the Bailey TB16, another mod that we talked about in Farm Some News quite a bit. Holds 16,000 liters. That is going to be standard bulk crop, so all is good there. Configurations of standard, default with cover. We also have default with grain door, default with cover with the grain door, an extension which gives us 26,600 liters. You can throw a grain door on there as well if you want to, and then back down to standard. Wheel options bring us BKT, Trelleborg, Michelin, Fredestan, and back in again. Looks like we could change uh, none of those, so they all just are what they are. Uh, decals, we have no on the decals, and then yes, yeah, so that's going to be all of our warning stripes, yellow on the side, red on the back. Attacher type, we have the UK attachment, we also have the uh, cup ball, basically a pin hitch or a ball hitch. Main color, you can change this up. We do have two different Bailey greens uh, if you want to go with those, but we do have all of the colors in the rainbow including black, which looks really, really good. We also have a cover or color for the cover, but I don't have one of those installed. And then we have room colors, all of the above. Big shouty outy, awesome job here. Next up, the Rudolph Felger DK280RL. This is basically the base game Rudolph trailer, 
but uh, we could change it to a bigger trailer if you want to as well. That may sound familiar because one of our smaller trailers is that. Options for here include Continental Tires. We also have a uh, trailer board, Michelin, BKT, Vertistan, and back in. A couple different setups for these. Holds 18,500 liters. Again, with the different branding on there. Reflectors, yes and no. Uh, basically exactly like the other trailer. However, you can change up between if you want just uh, the sides and the back or all of them. You can change that up. Then sidewalls, we can do a brown and the cover color. We can change that too. Next is the K brand 1200 Extra. I'm not saying the name brand because it's a derogatory term in English. That's why I do not say the K branded name. This holds 2400 liters at seed and solid fertilizer, which is great. It is a direct drill and we'll do all your standard planter crops. Chassis color, we could change that up. You know what? Let's uh let's try and make it a John Deere. Why don't we do that? And then rim color, change that to John Deere as well. Uh, the red, black, and silver tops on there make it not work very well how about we do case instead that works great heck yeah man 120 horsepower on here 5.5 meter working with and nine miles an hour got a small little cultivator for you this is the lizard bolt 4m 15 horsepower four meters and nine miles an hour no customization options hey face cams back and so with some bga stuff we got the medium biogas plant pack both of these can be found in productions and then factories you've got one Cost you nine hundred thousand dollars is going to be the four hundred kW, and then we have the seven hundred fifty kW. This one's going to cost you one point two five million dollars. Absolutely insane there, but hey, it is what it is. We've also got a uh, different setups here. Uh, you can see one gives us, I believe, our regular charge, and then the other one gives us the the charge and the the, the methane. But there's the number there. I don't know what's going on with that. Also, I just realized if I go off screen. <laughs> <laughs> an idiot let's move on next we got the brazilian greenhouse pack this is gonna have a couple different setups but it's just tomatoes or tomatoes uh, lettuce and strawberries uh, all those are basically being the same however they hold more and some produce a lot faster as well so that's pretty cool uh, i do like the way these look actually it's just very different we don't get a whole lot of greenhouse mods normally so when we do hey i'm all for it plus it's from namag modding uh they do a really good job on everything next we've got the shed with workshop and office this is pretty cool and you may kind of freak out a little bit because you can't actually open the big doors from the outside so go into little door and then we get a nice little area here where we can work on stuff let's go ahead and shut that little door and then open her up from the inside one button push goes for one side up 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 and, and that's about it I, I don't like when one door opens and then the other one door opens open to both or, or let's open both individually. Uh, in here we can sleep. We can, please let me change clothes. Well, if I could get out of one trigger, not get in the other, we could probably change clothes right through there. <laughs> and then if we go, hey, uh, wait a minute. Is that door invisible? Yeah, there's no, there's no collision there. We got a little pantry and no collision on this door either, uh, but we have a bathroom, which I'm a little bit too tall to be inside of. So let's go ahead and clip through some of these doors again, head back downstairs. We've also got this huge area here, bam. We're gonna go ahead and open up one side. We've got the other side. It's a nice building. Here's one that we can change the color of. This is Shed, it's from MA7 Studio. I'm not 100% sure what this does. I may have to turn on my help window to, ah, remove this wall. Well, that'll do it, won't it? Uh, show wall. All right. Do we have that all the way around? No, nope, not there. Go around here. No, nope, not there. And lights on. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, well, hey, well, at least we got it somewhere. <laughs> we'll do this again. Bam! And the collision's there, too. That's so cool. I don't know how they do that. Oh, and as I mentioned, there's lots of different colors here as well, so you can kind of just go through, find the one you like. Next to last new one for all platforms day is going to be the uh, Schwabenhof Pack. So we've got a house here where we can go in and change clothes and do all that good stuff. We also have a silo system here, which if I turn on some menus, we can see it holds 200,000, 2 million liters. Ah, well, very nice. We've also got a couple sheds here, three of them, in fact. First one is a drive through Looks know, pretty good inside. Then we've got a little bit, uh, bit on the side there. Open it up over here. Oh, that's a different door. <laughs> Triple uh, way to that and then open this up. What do we got? We've got four doors that open up like that, allowing us to still be able to get into this door, which is pretty sweet. Also, we have an upstairs. What's upstairs? Not much. 
All right, cool. Then we've got a couple cattle areas. So the first cattle area is going to be this one. It is very, very large on the outside. See if we can open this up. Head in here. We've got a place for milk, which is awesome. I'm not getting a silo reading on the bottom, though. Maybe if I come in here. Aha, there we go. Uh, it just says the silo is empty. Yeah, must be a silo in here. 500,000 liters, as a matter of fact. This cow, or cow farm is actually a silo. Open up a few things uh, through here. We can't see anything about the milk, but that is where the milk goes. But we do have an area around towards the back. Right here, we'll open this up. Cow barn, we can own 80 cattle. However, it's still not giving me a trigger to see how much food they take, which is kind of unfortunate. Maybe over here? Nope. Speaking of cow barns, up we have two of them. In fact, this one is a little bit bigger. Uh, this one also is not showing me how much food they take on the bottom right, which is super interesting. Uh, but we can hold 80 cattle here as well. It's quite different, even though uh, settings are basically the same. So that's kind of cool. That door doesn't open. That door doesn't open. That door doesn't open. Useless doors, but it is what it is. What are you going to do about it? Coming around through here, we still have another area outside. We've got the tip there, but I'm not getting a thing that tells me what it takes. It just says that the silo is empty. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> and then do we have one more? Yeah, look at this. All right, check this out. So you come up here. This is basically another loft, but we've got this area here where we can open it up, drop down the food if we want to. You can throw the food down if you want to. And, and then we have another area there. So cool. And our last new one for all platforms today is somewhere in Lower Bavaria. Also, uh, you don't need to worry about your screen if it looks a little jerky. Well, it is for me as well. For some reason, I'm having some really bad frame rate troubles, but only on this map. I've recompiled all the shaders, everything's good. I've flown around this map for like five minutes now. Still not doing it. Just figured I'd let you know. It's not helping. You're going to get bad frames moving on. This is uh, their first map, and it's got 25 required mods. Now, I'm no uh, sorcerer or anything, but I don't think people are going to enjoy a map for all platforms with 25 required mods. So, uh, you say this, but if you guys want more people to play your maps, you should probably not use to be required mods for all platforms. Nonetheless, we'll show you guys this. Uh, six farms, 63 farm lands, 13 forestry areas uh, for tree pushers. We're pushing trees. Uh, we also have a large BGA, a small BGA, and various production chains all the way around the map. The only thing you own is farmland 29 down here at the bottom, which also houses our main farm, which isn't very much if I'm honest, but hey, we got something here. Uh, it does look like it's also using the Alpine outside of the map. So if you guys like that region, you may enjoy this. Uh, jumping in to take a look at, oh yeah, growth calendar. Let me look at all the growth calendar. Base game growth calendar. So you told you, nobody even cares to update those anymore. And then what do we have for uh, pieces of equipment? We got a Boucher and a Steyr. We have a Deutzfar, a uh, Velger trailer. So it looks like we've just got some standard stuff here. A couple different things, Amazon stuff. I do like seeing that stuff, but uh, otherwise, yeah, not a lot going on here. And if it matters to you, here are your 25 required mods. Oof. Now let's get into some mod updates for all platforms. First one is the Klaus Lexian 410 480, 80, yeah, 480 version 132. Fix the IC windows on the 410 460. Fixed AI worker with the T track model, strange turning radius. Fix side panels, distance, not view and fix shadows on some animated details. Also, some of these words didn't seem like they were in the right order. Next, we have the new Holland 8340 version 1101, added interactive control support, which is a PC only thing, and added animation configurations for IC and MC. Again, none of this has anything to do with consoles, though it's an all platform mod. From the SMI mod team, we have the Okrama JH series version 105. Fixed hide from the ground during work state on the Jackal. Lemkin D24 version 1.3, new normal map made for the model, added color configurations, added production year to support vehicle years mod, and fixed foliage bending. Workshop Halls version 1.1, fixed collision tank, bought with farmland, purchased, and changed the sound of the small doors. And we've got an update for Bally Spring. Now this update is for PC and Mac as well as the crossplay version. We're gonna talk about both of those back to back so you don't have to worry about anything. 
As far as the crossplay version, new save game is not required, so keep playing on your normal game save. You're good to go. Version 2002, remove custom wildlife spawner XML, suspected to be causing random crashes on console and performance issues on PC. They've added collision to the feed troughs and the open pasture to allow the pastures to be sold in construction menu. Increase the feed capacity of all husbandries to last 36 hours at maximum animal capacity. That's super cool. Fix the pricing of bullocks and yearlings. Value was shooting up every month. Remove collisions from self-made cow shed and self-made pigsty gates when opened. Increase the distance objects go under the ground when hidden. Tweak the look of the gut grass stubble. They've added some variance to the width and height. Made the animal dealer icon disappear when interactive zone markers were turned off. Updated the NPC 30. Added revision number two loading screen map name for easier troubleshooting. Multi-fruit and relight description now only appears when creating your save. And take a breath here. Added JMZ's custom manure ground textures. Regenerated the navigation mesh for the cow pasture at the dark blue farm. Cows now roam all over the pasture. They've also done this for the sheep pasture at the yellow farm, with sheep now roam all over the pasture. Made wool pallet area marker for sheep pasture at the yellow farm disappear when interactive zone markers turn off. Fix the tip collision on the U shaped silage pits that come with the map. Reduce the wind speeds for each month. They've implemented, implemented Farmer Andy's. Fix for beetroot log warnings. Scoot it down just a little bit. Reduce the straw and grass swathing output slightly and added beetroot, carrot, and parsnips to the planter fruit type category to allow these crops to be sown with any planters. That is pretty darn cool. And now let's talk about the PC update. It is literally exactly the same word for word. However, below the beetroot, carrot, and parsnip update, we also have ensured message logged in the log file when load animals update.lewis script has been executed. Added support for the expandable pastures mod. This mod is now a dependency for the map so heads up there but that is an awesome thing most pc players have this mod already they fixed an error for the cpu mesh on smoke particles and updated the custom maze plus xmls to align with maze plus version 1.3 they also say c note above on how to install these into the maze plus mod and since we did the pc update first let's talk about the new ones first is the chrome big pack 1290 hd pvc straw harvest add-on yee um yeah i'm not really quite sure what's up with this one it looks like it's just a Crone Big Pack 1290 with customization options. Speaking of Straw Harvest, we have the Straw Harvest Pack AL Extension. This mod is an extension to load the pallets with the Pallet auto loader is a separate loading type. Both mods are required to use this. And lastly, we have enhanced cruise control. This adds uh, additional features, they say, including cruise control lock, cruise control speed lock, and smart cruise control. And that is it for this one. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Get subscribed if you do. Enjoy the Go Ham fam. Double check out notification bell. That way, you never miss any farming simulator videos here on the channel. Also, DLC released today. Dropped a video earlier showing off some of the things that have been fixed since we last saw it and some stuff that still hasn't been fixed. So check that out if you haven't seen it. Otherwise, just hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.